All right, we're back. I have watched a lot of streams and a bunch of videos, and it seems that since Goblins and Gnomes has added lots of early and mid-range cards and not all that many high-end cards, it's a little harder to get the high monocost cards now. So, I can't be so picky in picking them. I, I like have to get them when I see them. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully this ar arena will go better than the last one. Let's see who we get. Alright, Thrall, Uther, and Valera. Um, I think Thrall. Thrall? No. Uther. All right, I think Paladin. Paladin should be good. I will serve. You will? Well, well that's good, because I picked you. You don't have a choice. Oh, now that's interesting. Jeeves has the potential to get some value. I kind of like this card. Um, but Archant Commander is really good. Bomb Lobber is, is okay. I mean, four damage. You pretty much will kill something when you play him. He doesn't do much else, though. Oh. Uh, well, I was saying it's harder to get the high-level cards. I think I'll go with Argent Commander. Salty Dog, Wisp, Holy Light. <clears throat> well, these two cards are crap. Salty Dog it is. The Quartermaster. I love this guy. Uh, when you look at him in the crafting menu, it says he's an expert at dividing things into four. <laughs> Just makes me giggle. Um, Lay on Hands is nice. Mini Mage, I've actually had some success with. I, I kind of like this card. But... I don't know. Quartermaster has some combo potential. He's a little expensive. Lay on Hands is card draw, though. And it's a big card. Um... I'm going to take Lay on Hands, because I'm not sure how much value this guy will get. Alright, see, I said I was going to have trouble finding high-level cards, and I'm getting some crappy ones. I'm going to take Hammer of Wrath. No to Dancing Swords, no to Lord of the Arena, Razor Fen Hunter is okay. Silverhand Knight's pretty good. Force tax, Tank Max can be really good. Unstable Ghoul is kind of nice, but not great. Silverhand Knight it is. Or even Old Assassin. What is I make the comment about not being able to get like five mana or better cards, and now it's all they want to hand me. Um, oh, one, two, three, four. Ravenholt's really good, though. Oh, but there's still a lot of picks left. Knife Juggler. Uh, Tall Strider, I really like. It's like uh, Panda for Ancient Brewmaster without an effect. It's not bad. Ship's Cannon. Well, I have a Salty Dog. Should I get the Silly Ship's Cannon over these other two? At least it's a 2-3. Yeah, I'm going to take it because I, I don't really want the other two. The Illuminator. If you control a secret, restore four health to your hero. That could be kind of nice. I don't have any secrets yet, though. It is a 2-4 for 3. Eh. It's cheaper than the Novice Engineer, but... Gnomish Engineer. But it doesn't draw you a card. It's better than the Death Lord, though. Probably better than the Bomb Lobber, overall. I'm gonna take it. And uh, Spider Tank. I mean, I should probably take Redemption because I got this silly card. But I think Spider Tank is really good for three mana. Shielded Minibot is amazing. I mean, yeah, Bloodflin Raptor, really good, very standard. But 2 2 Divine Shield? This guy will probably kill two cards in the early game. Repentance is. Decent enough, but would I take it over the mechanical yeti? Probably not. Another quartermaster. Piloted sky golem is actually really good. 
And Hansel Meccano is kind of good too. But only when you already have a board. I do have Razorfin Hunter and Silverhand Knight. But I think this is the card to take. Because this is really good. Four cost minions are among the best minions in the game. Holy Light, no. Dalaran Mage, no. Goldshire Footman, no. Take these back! I don't want them. Uh, I guess... Dalaran Mage? Boldfist Ogre. Hard to say no to that. Unless you don't have a Consecration. One, two, three, four, five. And we're halfway. Oh... I think I'm going to take... Oh, but he's so good! I want the Consecration! Oh, I'm gonna take it. It's probably a bad idea. But I'm gonna take it anyway. Uh, two mana cards. One, two, three... I've only got three two mana cards. Direwolf Alpha could be nice. Especially with the Silverhand Recruits. Pilot Shredder's okay. Not bad. Two cost minions can be pretty good. Not amazing, but I mean it's a free minion. Um think I think I'm gonna go with Direwolf Alpha, because my early game is so shy. You don't normally want to play this on turn two, but I need some options. Another spider tank, a shielded minibot, spectral knight. I think I take the minibot, because he's really good. Cogmaster has plus two attack while you have a mech. This is while you have a mech. So if I just play a mech after him, he's still pretty good. And I think he's better than the other two. Pint Size Summoner, Sun Fury Protector, Questic Adventurer. Well, I'm not looking very heavy on the early game yet. So I don't know that Questing Adventurer will be that good. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's Sun Fury Protector here. Redemption, Priestess of Elune, Hammer of Wrath. I already have one Hammer of Wrath, although I don't have a lot of card draw options. Redemption would work with that Illuminator, but how important is that health really going to be? Redemption is nice combined with Argent Commander, piloted Sky Golem, it's okay with the Yeti. Okay with Shielded Minibot. Huh. That does raise the value of this thing a little bit. Now, I think I still gotta go with Hammer of Wrath here. Anti Keelbot, I'm sorry, but you're not good enough. Harvest Golem's pretty good, though. Yeah. Mogushan Warden, don't like you. Venture Co., you're pretty good. Redemption, uh, I don't think so. What are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Venture Co. Now we could take Repentance. Repentance is definitely worth it. Or Frost Elemental, it's six. Frost Elemental is pretty good. I think I'm going to take Repentance, though. And that might be a bad pick, but I don't have I don't have any true silvers. I don't have equality. I don't have any way to kind of deal with a big minion. And repentance might be a little scatter shot, but I think it would be a very nice, helpful play in the late game. Ah, uh, raider, bluegill, and stable ghoul. I've got two things with Divine Shield. I don't have any minions that only have one health. Except for the boar on the Razorfen Hunter. So that might mean this guy's best here. I don't have any power-ups that might make him more useful in a single turn, so... Yeah, Unstable Ghoul. Micro Machine's actually really good. Annoyotron... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's good, sometimes I think he's bad. I'm, I haven't made my mind up about this card yet. Uh, 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven early game cards. I should probably take the War Golem. I should be okay on early game. Seal of Light, there's a new one. Get to do two damage and heal yourself for four. It's okay. I don't think I need any of these, though. Would it be okay for me to just do two damage? Is that good enough? Hmm. If nothing else, it's always a heal for four, but healing cards really aren't all that important. Mech Warper. Let's see. Is that a mech? No. Those two are mechs. And he's a mech. He's a mech. And he's a mech. That's a mech. Th that should be a mech. I think I'll take the mech warper. I think I've got enough mechs to make it worth it. Uh, Tall Strider, I think, here. What am I doing? One Consecrate, two Embers of Wrath. Definitely want some more fours. And because I said I want some more fours... Okay, all of these are bad. Because I've only got one secret, I don't really want another Illuminator. I've... I, I guess I could get some value out of the plus one... of the two spell damage. I got two Hammers of Wrath and a Consecrate. That would be an eight mana play for Consecration, though. That's a little much. Hmm. Should I take this one? He's basically just a 4 3 for 3 mana, which isn't horrible. I mean, if I compare it to this one, 2 4 or a 4 3, this guy's actually going to kill something. This one probably will accomplish nothing. Or the Ancient Mage for 4. That Hammer of Wrath could be 5 damage then. Again, 8 mana play. And... I think I take this to try and even out the curve. What am I, what am I looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 threes that are playable on turn 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fours. Yeah, this is such a hard choice. All right, I'm going to take the Injured Blade Master because I think it will be more useful than the Ancient Mage. And there we go. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We've got Lay on Hands and Two Hammers of Wrath for card draw. Our early game is okay-ish. We've got enough cards. I know I passed up a Protector but you can't really play him on turn two anyway. Turn threes are a little weak. Spider tank is probably the best among them. Turn fours are a little weak for a paladin. I mean, this guy's good. These guys are okay. But I don't have any true silver champions. And that's... that's I don't want to say that's lost value, but they really help get you in control of the board. My late game, I think it's okay. I think we've got a shot. So, I'll see you guys in the first game. Let's hope I do well. Bye bye